Hey guys, it's uh, Neil here from American Stitch. Today I'm going to make you guys a little short video uh, showing how to do embroidery on some unique items such as gloves uh, for this winter. Be a good way to uh, make some extra money. So let's get started. All right, for uh, this purpose of today, I'm going to do a glove. Um, I've got the ZSK Sprint set up with the uh, cap driver system uh, with the face plates removed. And I'm going to use a specialty frame. Uh, this is actually designed to do pockets for, you know, dressed Oxfords and things like that. Um, but I'm going to use it to do a glove. So let's check out how that's going to work. Okay, so I've positioned the machine, loaded in a design um, that I'm going to be sewing with. And one thing that I think is really important to do um, is, you know, to do a trace on these machines uh, so that you don't hit the metal frame. Okay, uh, so I'm going to put my frame on here without the glove on it. And I've already loaded the design, so we're just going to go to the control panel and bring the needle down and position it top to bottom, left to right, uh, where you're going to want it to be. Um, when doing something unique like a glove, it's a good idea to do the trace before you actually have the glove on there. You could always trace it again once you have the item on there, but this way I can see uh, how close I am to those plates. So we're going to do a trace here real quick. Especially if your design is pretty big or tight. Uh, to the sewing field. So it looks like we're in good shape there. Uh, just bring the needle back up. And the next thing we need to do is hoop our item. So I'm gonna go grab that stuff and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. And I've got three items here. Uh, I have a piece of tearaway, salvi, and then a fleeced glove. And just a little tip for you guys, uh, on these like smaller hoops and things like that, you know, if you're using like pre-cut backings and uh, when you cut this out of your shirt, save some of these pieces because that's all this is. I'm not using a whole brand new sheet. I'm just using some scrap leftover stuff uh, for this particular project. Um, so we need to get this on the, uh, on the attachment. And so I'm just gonna move my frame out because right now if I, try to take this off it's going to hit it ain't no good and i don't want to take it off and go to a fr uh, framing station i'm just going to frame this glove right on the machine so we'll take our pantograph and we'll move it out so that i can get this thing open i'm going to pop that off bring it across first we're going to lay our backer right in there like that you can use some spray adhesive if you'd like um, I'm not that worried about this project because I'm just doing this for a video. Uh, so we're going to get this on here. Yeah. And make sure it's centered up on my glove where I want it to be. I'm going to embroider right in this area, right? Make sure I'm good and centered. I'll lay my scrap piece of salvi on here. Yeah, flip my little window across, make sure we hold all our pieces together, clamp it back on, good enough, okay, now a cool thing about ZSK is remember how I traced it before, now I'm, I'm off of where I was, well on a ZSK machine it remembers its last position, so on my control panel all I'm going to do is just push the uh, center blue button for those of you that already have ZSK machines. Hold it down for a couple seconds and it's going to move right back where I was when I did the trace. Oop, bring that back out. I forgot you want to hold the glove down. The gloves are pretty tight so I'm going to hold this down make sure that it gets around the uh, tubular arm. Now we got it in there. We are good to go. We've already traced. So last thing to do is to sew this bad boy. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and hit start and we're going to watch it sew.
right, check that out. It's done. Oop, let's go ahead and move our frame out so we can get that window open. Pop that sucker off. Of course, you're going to have to do a little bit of cleanup with the salvi on there, but... Pull that off. And of course, we can load our next one. Push the uh, blue, close it, push the blue button, and it'll take it back to sew the next glove. And on and on. All right, guys, I'm back. I just ran back real quick into the back uh, in our production area and hit my glove with a steamer to get rid of the extra salvia that was on the top of it. And uh, now I want to show you what it looks like. Here it is. Pretty cool, right? Put it on. Imagine this on a you know, cheerleader or something like that for schools. Uh, you could do monogramming on gloves, all kinds of things. Uh, and also with ZSK machines, this is just one attachment. They have tons of things you can do with these machines. Um, karate belts, shoes, uh, you name it, they probably have an attachment for it. Um, and if you think out of the box and you think of something like, geez, how do I do that? Just give them a call because they probably have the answer. Uh, hook up my boy Nick Matina at zskmachines.com. He can help you out, all right? Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.